my visual practice is really based in drawing. Um, I like how immediate it is and, well, it starts off being immediate, but then the more processes you add, you can get and all the cross hatching and pattern making that I've been doing recently actually <laughs> is really time consuming. Um, but initially I started drew doing drawings because it's cheaper and you can just get stuck in and uh, I worked in a venue called Stereo in Glasgow and had band and friends in bands and um, made posters uh, for gigs and events and stuff and sort of saw that as a good way of getting work shown up till this exhibition I've mostly worked in black and white because my drawings have developed with the sort of like the photocopy in mind with the posters um, and I developed a kind of style, quite a graphic style that used a lot of pattern making to kind of replace colour as a sort of like a a wow factor in the posters, something to kind of excite. I really liked all the psychedelic posters from like San Francisco in the 60s and stuff. I thought about the show being a big space and rather than trying to, I, like I usually work quite small. So rather than trying to just suddenly make some big work, I wanted to kind of fill the space with um, series, like so groupings of work. Um, some of it I worked with the print studio downstairs to kind of um, make some etchings that then I could work on top of. There's a whole other side to my practice which is like being in a band and that in f kind of was my understanding of that has developed at the same time as my my drawing practice and I think that's like one of the things that Graham was interested in when he asked us to do the show. We've all been in, all currently in bands. I don't know whether one influences that it's all kind of creative activity and you can find out about, like I enjoy finding out about like artists through their associations with like music that I've listened to that I'm interested in and vice versa. And um, yeah, I guess when you start sort of like getting into sort of drawing abstract forms and like processes, ways of layering things, you can use the same sort of language to talk about how you would like record or like make music or a drawing. They're kind of interchangeable. I'm um, an artist, I'm also a musician. I work with sound and I work with sculpture to create installations or events, sound works, sculptural works. I'm interested in sub sculptural properties of sound. So having played music for a number of years and released some records on a, as a DIY, you know, self-published on an on a underground label, then sound, the sort of flip side of that is I start to bring sound into my sculptural practice and the two to are totally interchangeable. The sort of that exploration of structure or sound or event is, is really what I'm interested in. Um, the sound work explores duration, which is, it's also a sculptural event. It's recorded, the, the drop, the single drop piece is recorded with four microphones and it's played back through four speakers. So you've taken a sort of a singular event, a quite a, a minute event, which is a single drop of water and you've Sort of expanded it sculpturally by making the speakers now they're, you know, they're 16 feet apart. You know, you've, you've taken a small event, you made it larger. I've also time stretched recordings so that this, in a time sort of sense, you've, um, you've expanded the duration. So you've kind of, it's like you've scaled something up, but sonically. Uh, I've done that before. There's also some piano, the piano drop prints in here show the the frame, the sort of the lit space or the void within which the action is going to happen. And then you, the second shot next to it is the piano in midair, which is 
captured in slow motion photography and was also a, a, a sound recording. But what we see here is just this one thousandth of a second where the piano's in midair with this moment. And that relates to the same process of, ex ex of expanding or exploding a very finite sort of slice of time. The one, one other thing re relating to the piano drop prints is that the, the wood that these images are framed in is the, the wood from the piano that was dropped. So it's been reclaimed and you see, you see the sort of, yeah, the image is represented as a kind of, the image is an object and it relates to the, to the actual, the, the event when the piano was dropped. The, the framework, the structure of the cloud work is also a kind of, if you, the one thing about like sound as a sculpture doesn't have an immediate form because it exists in time. So we've got this kind of variation. The balloon contains, it's a sort of membrane that contains a form and the, the, the frame is the kind of negative space of, or the void space. And it's a kind of repetition, which is an evolving, you know, the, an open-ended composition. You can look at it, it's three dimensional. So yeah, and the void is also present in the flag from the original project, Le Drapeau Noir, which um, you can read that how you like. Obviously there's, there's a, a collage element to it, um, but I somehow I am resistant to referring to them as collages. You know, I, I really do refer to them as, as paintings, even though they have a, a collage element to most of them, you know. Um, but really, they're, they're, they're nearly always their, their works on newspaper. Um, and that's something to do with having a, having a, a kind of dialogue with the medium that I'm using and looking to it to kind of take me somewhere that I can't get with my own imagination. So, you know, I tend to sort of respond to something on the, on the printed newspaper and then I'll kind of adapt that or use it in some way or kind of overturn it in some way. Really, the, the newspaper is really a starting point, you know, and then the, the journey of, of painting will, will sort of take me somewhere unexpected. But I never really know what these things are going to be when I start, you know. Um, the, the painting is a kind of exploratory journey. Um, I, I've got quite a, quite a, a lot of involvement um, with music. I, I mean, partly actually my, my initial choice is about, you know, where I studied uh, cities like Liverpool and Glasgow. That was partly uh, dictated by, you know, feeling that those are going to be very interesting places to be in and very active kind of musical cities or, or you know, cities with really active music scenes. Um, but also, yeah, I mean, even just in terms of some of the, some of the processes, um, not so much with the, the music that I'm making at the moment, but previous uh, previous band, um, you know, that was sometimes to do with uh, using samples and loops um, and then kind of adding instrumentation to that. You know, so there's a similar idea of like, you know, this kind of layering process, which, which is quite often part of my painting process, you know, so, you know, creating a layer and then kind of seeing what that provokes and then um, adding something else and then seeing what that provokes, you know, that, that's that's largely the way that um, the music, I've, I've certainly composed music like that and, and the paintings are, are, are composed like that and, and even just the word, the word composition is, is important with, uh, you know, composing a, a piece of music or, or the composition of a painting, I think they're, they're very, very linked for me, you know.